for joining Frederick County Public Library's Daily Storytime. My name is Miss Kristen, and you might recognize me from the Myersville branch. Let's get started. I like to start our story time with a hello song. Let's sing hello to our friends. Ready? Here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. And we're saying a special hello today to our friend Snowy Owl. He brought us a message. Would you like to see what's inside? It looks like we've been invited to a special birthday party for a boy named Harry. And the birthday party is happening at a magic school. Do you want to come along with me? Let's go. It says all we need to do is spin this magic time spinner and we'll arrive at the school. Here we go. Wow, brilliant. I've always wanted to come to a magic school. Our first activity today is to become word wizards. And in order to be a word wizard, we need to know our alphabet. Let's get our magic fingers ready and bring some magic into the room while we sing the alphabet slowly and clearly. Are you ready? Sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Can you make circles in the other direction? Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Super! Well, our story today is called Word Wizard by Katherine Falwell. And a special thank you to Clarion Books for allowing us to read this story. While I read today, I'm going to be using my magic wooden spoon. If you have a spoon in your kitchen or maybe your play kitchen, go and find one or just pretend. Word Wizard by Katherine Falwell. Early one morning, Anna was eating breakfast. She dipped her spoon into the bowl. The cereal letters spelled Dawn. Anna watched the letters float around in the spoon. Now they spelled Wand. Magic, said Anna, finishing her breakfast. And with the magic spoon for a wand, Anna became a word wizard. Anna began to change all kinds of words. A small sad boy appeared next to her. Hi, I'm Anna, she told him, and I'm a word wizard. I'm Zack, said the boy, and I'm lost. I'll help you, said Anna. With a wave of her wand, Zack's tears, along with the M that had lingered in her spoon, changed into a gentle stream. The stream flowed into a wave-tossed ocean. This won't do, said Anna, and she rearranged ocean into canoe. Then she and Zack paddled peacefully to shore. A quick wave of her spoon turned shore into horse. I'm tired and hungry, cried Zack, following in Anna's tracks. Watch, said Anna, as she changed track into cart. She gave Zack the leftover K to munch on. Suddenly, a beast appeared. Zack's sword was no match. Anna grabbed the K just in time and turned beast into basket. That was close, said Anna. Away they rode. But the road was blocked by a large stone. 
Time for a little music, Anna said, and stone became notes. They began to sing along with the music. With Zach's help, Anna changed sing to wings, and away they flew. I'm still hungry, said Zach. Sour lemons grew below. So, of course, Anna changed lemons into melons. Yum, said Zach, wiping juice from his chin. He looked around. I'm home. Goodbye, Zach, said Anna. But wait, cried Zach. What if I get lost again? You'll be able to help yourself, said Anna. She waved her wand and changed Zach's sword into words. The end. And you can become a word wizard at home by cutting out letters from magazines or newspapers or maybe finding some cereal or alphabet pasta from your grocery store and create all sorts of new words. Now that we've become word wizards, I think it's time to do some dancing and spelling. This song is called I'll Spell It Out For You by Jim Gill. And we want to say a special thank you to Jim Gill for allowing us to use his music. Before we get started, I think I need a little something easier to dance in. You say you can't dance? Haven't got a clue? You'll see how easy it is when I spell it out for you. Well, I'll teach you to dance Since you've come to school here There's just one thing My technique is peculiar Cause I'm not gonna tell it I'm gonna spell it J-U-M-P, jump up and down with me J-U-M-P, jump up and down with me J-U-M-P, jump up and down with me J-U-M-P, jump up and down I'll spell it out for you Well, I'll spell the next thing That I want you to try Don't ask me why because I'll reply. Don't ever ask me to tell it. I prefer to spell it. S P I N spin again, again, again. S P I N spin again, again. S P I N spin again, again, again. S P I N spin again, again. I'll spell it out for you. Now there's one last move that I want you to get. Just one more move before we quit. But I'd never tell it. I always spell it. S W A Y side to side. 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 I'll spell it out for you. All right, put it all together. D A N C E. Come on and dance along with me. D A N C E. Come on and dance along with me. I'll spell it out for you. I'll spell it out for you. Now it's time for a game of hide and seek. Little Cat is hiding behind one of these colorful wizard hats. Will you help me look for him? You will? Great. Thank you. Now let me find my magic spoon. Where did I put that? I must have stuck it in my robe. 
What is this? A magic wand! Maybe this will help me reveal where little cat is hiding. Reveal is a fancy word for show. Let's make a magic word to help us find little cat. How about revealia? Can you say that with me? Revealia. Wow, great. Can you find a magic wand to use at home? And let's look for little cat. Where should we look first? The pink cat? Let's give it a try. Little cat, little cat, are you behind the pink wizard hat? Wands at the ready. Here we go. Revealia. It worked, but there's no little cat. Let's keep going and look behind another wizard hat. What color is this wizard hat? That's right, orange. Let's try again. Little cat, little cat, are you behind the orange wizard hat? Wands at the ready? Revealia. No, little cat is not behind the orange hat either. There are only two hats left. Let's try the next hat. This is the color yellow. That's right. Here we go. Little cat, little cat. Are you behind the yellow wizard hat? Ready? Revealia. No little cat. That must mean he's under the last wizard hat. What color is this hat? Purple. Get your wands ready. Let's find little cat. Little cat, little cat. Are you behind the purple wizard hat? Revealia. There he is! We found Little Cat! Little Cat was under the purple wizard hat. Thank you for helping me find him. Would you like to play a game of hide and seek with me? Okay, I need you to cover your eyes and practice counting to ten. No peeking! I'm going to hide and I want to see if you can find me. Ready? Go! One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you ready? Where could I be hiding? Am I hiding under one of the tables? Maybe I'm hiding behind the felt board. Would you like a clue? I'm actually hiding in the place that you last saw me. That's right. Look, check out this awesome disappearing cloak that I found. It's great for a game of hide and seek. Want to see it again? Wouldn't you love to have an invisibility cloak at home to help you play hide and seek? Well, that was a lot of fun, but now it's time for one more story before we have to leave the party today. This is Mem Fox's story, The Magic Hat, and a special thank you to Harcourt for allowing us to read this story. One fine day, from out of town, and without any warning at all, there appeared a magic hat. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat! It moved like this, it moved like that, it spun through the air and over a road, and sat on the head of a warty old toad! Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that, it spun through the air like a bouncing balloon, and sat on the head of a hairy baboon. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that, it spun through the air from way over there, and sat on the head of a sleepy old bear. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that, it spun through the air, it's true, it's true, and sat on the head of a kangaroo. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that, it spun through the air for a mile and a half, and sat on the head of a lofty giraffe. And then with a skip, and then with a hop, 
a wizard appeared with a sign that said stop. So everyone stopped and stared in surprise at the wonderful wizard with sparkling eyes, who took from his beard with a nod and a wink a wand which he waved. And what do you think? The toad, the baboon, the bear, and the roo, and of course the giraffe, oh what a to-do, turned back into people dazed and confused, watched by a crowd that was highly amused. While no one was looking, the wizard, meanwhile, skipped out of town with a mischievous smile. And of course on his head was the fabulous hat that made all the magic wherever it sat. Friends, it's time to leave the magic school and Harry's birthday party. We have to head back to the library. We're going to leave the same way we came, by twirling our magic time spinner. Here we go again. What a great adventure we had today celebrating Harry's birthday. But I'm glad to be back at the library. I think it's time for us to sing goodbye to our friends. Ready? Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for listening. Join us for more Harry Potter birthday activities today on each hour and next week for another great virtual story time. And don't forget to log your reading or sign up for the Summer Challenge at scpl.org backslash summer. Bye-bye!